The next Aglow meeting is December 10th, and you are welcome to come right here to TV44. It starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, costs only $4 for continental breakfast, a great morning, and there definitely will again be an incredible speaker. Well, with Thanksgiving turkeys, Christmas celebrations, all kinds of things, I bet there's going to be a lot of turkey in your house in the coming weeks. What are you going to do with the bones? Did you know that bone broth is one of the best defenses you can have against wintertime sickness? And I want to let you know how easy it is to make your own bone broth in your own house. So here we are in the TV44 kitchen, but I'm bringing you a few secrets from my own kitchen. You only need a few things to make it possible. First of all, you need some bones. My husband and I collect our bones throughout the year. These are mostly chicken bones. You're gonna be using a lot of turkey bones right now, but chicken bones, turkey bones, even that bone from the latest T-bone, throw them in a bag and when you've got enough to fill a crock pot, then you can start with your broth. The next thing you need is some vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and I recommend Bragg's vinegar. I bought this at our nearby Planet Health here in Lima. You also need some water and you need a crock pot. This is all you have to do. Put your bones in the crock pot. Fill the crock pot full of water. Add one quarter cup apple cider vinegar. The vinegar is intended to leach out the minerals from the bones. Fill the entire thing with water. Turn the crock pot on. Turn it to low and let it start cooking. It'll go for at least 24 hours, maybe even 36 hours or longer. You're gonna notice the color in the water is gonna change to a deeper yellow. You're probably gonna sense a little bit of a smell in your house as well. It's a good smell, we'll call it an aroma, as you are building up immunity just by making that bone broth. When you're all finished and you've got everything done, take the bones out, pick off some extra meat if you'd like, and then put it in mason jars. You can either can it or you can freeze it. And then when it's time for you to use it, all you have to do is open your jar and you're good to go. It's great for soups, it's great for drinking. All in all, it's a wonderful way to use those turkey bones from all of this month and next month's holiday festivities. All right, now we're gonna throw it over to Mark who's gonna talk a little bit about some chickens.